A comment I hear frequently from guests who come to our showroom for product education classes or cooking classes is, you make everything look so easy. Well, I do a lot of prep the day before the class, that helps, but really what makes it easy is the fact that I know how to get the most out of all the tools that I'm cooking with in the Thermador product line. Today I'm going to show you how to pull together a, a, a brunch for entertaining and give you some tips on the various tools that are featured in the Thermador product line. Now we are cooking on the Thermador steam range today, but the tips that I'm going to give you apply to the gas cooktops, the induction cooktops, and the wall ovens. Although to be truthful, if you have a steam oven, you'll have a bit of an edge. Now when you're entertaining, you want to socialize and you want to be not worried about something burning on the stove. So the griddle is always a good choice. If you don't have the e-griddle, then Thermador has other options. They have a griddle accessory for the Pro Series, also for the drop-in cooktops, and a teppanyaki griddle for the induction. They're all great tools. Griddles allow you to cook multiple foods at one time, and of course you have your convection oven or your warming drawer to keep the food warm once it's cooked so you can keep making multiple batches. Extra low is a fantastic feature of the Thermador gas cooktops. I can keep syrup nice and warm for a long time. I can keep my butter melting in a tiny little pan so that I've got butter handy to keep the griddle nice and buttered. So those are great tools to use for entertaining. Now, convection ovens are truly fantastic for entertaining. Why? because with a convection oven, we can cook or bake on multiple racks at one time. Remember when you're baking in convection, recipe temperatures must come down 25 degrees. If you've baked something in the oven and want to keep it nice and warm, you can use the keep warm feature that's available on all of the Thermador products. As I mentioned, the warming drawer, there's nothing more wonderful than having hot food served on warm dishes. Or of course, you can keep food there as well. Now, the steam oven is an extraordinary tool for everyday cooking, but when it comes to entertaining, oh man, it sure has an edge. Let me show you what we're cooking in our steam oven today. This is a tray of poached eggs served over sauteed mushrooms and spinach. And I have a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of croutons underneath and some cheddar cheese. Very, very easy, very simple. Now, what's great about this dish is that I was able to saute the spinach and mushrooms earlier in the day and assemble the ramekins. And just prior to serving, I cracked the eggs into each ramekin set the oven to the steam mode, and then I cook the eggs for six to eight minutes, depending on the degree of doneness that you like your eggs. It's not a really easy dish to hold for a long period of time, because if the yolks get hard, it will lose some of its appeal. But if you've got a bunch of ramekins set up, you can keep cracking those eggs and keep cooking them. Remember, steaming hard-cooked eggs is also a great option in the steam oven. If you'd like to try this dish and you don't have a steam oven, you can still make it. All you'll do is you'll place the ramekins in a water bath and cover it loosely with a little bit of foil. And you'll get, you'll basically steam your eggs. It might take just a few minutes longer. If you don't want to bother with actually cooking the eggs while your guests are there, consider making a frittata and then reheating it the next day because the frittata takes at least 40 to sometimes 50 minutes to cook and it does need to rest a little bit before everybody dives in. Entertaining is so much easier when you understand the tools that you're cooking with. The tools that Thermador offers you are just fantastic. So plan your menu carefully to take good advantage of those tools so you can relax and enjoy yourself while producing a truly fantastic feast.